Indeed, the giant impact model is still the best explanation for the origin of our moon. Earth is unique among the terrestrial planets in that it has a very large natural satellite. But where did our moon come from? Astronomers have considered many possible ideas. One idea is that the moon formed in orbit around our planet simultaneously and in the same way that Earth formed, by the accretion of rocky and metallic planetesimals condensed out of the warm inner solar nebula. Another hypothesis is that the early molten Earth was spinning so fast that a blob of it shed off, fissioned, and went into orbit, forming the Moon. Another hypothesis suggests that the Moon originated from a different location in the inner solar system, which Earth then captured. These ideas competed for supremacy until the Apollo missions brought Moon rocks and other information back to Earth revealing that they needed to fit the actual data about the Moon. Planetary scientists proposed the giant impact model in the 1990s, suggesting that a Mars-sized protoplanet could have struck the early Earth obliquely in a giant impact, melting enough of Earth's iron core mantle to launch it into orbit, where it would cool, accrete, and eventually form the Moon. The Moon's composition, density, and age matched the models. Indeed, the giant impact model is still the best explanation for the origin of our moon.